In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask a blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, restorer and lover of innocence, direct the hearts of your servants towards, towards yourself, that those you have set free from the darkness of unbelief may never stray from the light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria telling of the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church as well as the apostles and the presbyters and they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees who had become believers stood up and said, it is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Please stand. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me and does, that does not bear fruit, and everyone does, that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it, it remains in the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remain in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burnt. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa Minor Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Welcome po. Good morning po. Pakibati naman ang kat katabi niyo ng good morning. Sana gising. In life, it's not about keeping the it's not about finding the faith. It's all about keeping the faith. It's all about remaining in that faith and living in that faith. In the same way, in any relationship, it is not about finding love. It is all about keeping that love and staying in that love. Ganun po sa buhay, kung mapapansin ninyo. In the same way na mabasa sa gospel na binasa natin, Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Ibig sabihin, na kahit gaano tayo maglakbay sa buhay, na, sa mundong ibabaw na ito sa ating buhay, it's not about finding meaning or finding purpose in life. It's about finding it and keeping it. Hindi ba? Nagkakaroon ng kahulugan ng buhay natin on how we stayed in that faith, how we stayed in that relationship, how we stayed in that love. Minsan nga, di ba? Pansin ninyo, Hangang-hanga tayo dun sa mga tao na ang tagal-tagal na. Halimbawa, ang mga maidad na dito, na simula nung kanilang kabataan, nagsisimba na palagi. They have found their faith and they remain in that faith. Uugod-ugod na, nagsisilbi pa rin sa simbahan. Minsan nga kapag ka pinapabasa mo, Minsan naawa ka na kasi hindi mo alam kung matatapos ang reading o matatapos sa buhay niya. Sa pagkatirap na hirap na sa pagbabasa. They remain in that service. They have found their purpose. They have found their meaning in serving in the church. And they remain in it. Even in relationships, hangang-hanga tayo doon sa mga taong ang tagal-tagal na nila 25 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, sila pa rin ang magkasama. Kaya nga, no wonder, ewan ko ba sa mga relationships ngayon, pansin nyo lang, yung mga may edad dito, di ba ang celebration dati, anniversaries, ibig sabihin, every year, you celebrate kung kailan ka sinagot, kung kailan yung first kiss, Kung kailan yung kung ano paman, kailan yung kasal. Ngayon, ang relationships ngayon, every month, nagsiselebrate. Menseversary. Alam nyo ang dahilan? Kunti na lang ang tumatagal. Kaya nagugulat ka. Minsan may mga young couples na ano, happy, uh, happy 100 menseversary. So, bilangin mo yun, ilang months na sila. Oh, diba? Bo ang tagal na nila, pero kung bilangin mo, ilang taon lang yun eh. They celebrate men's anniversary because nowadays it's difficult to stay and to remain in that love. 
Kaya nga sa Ibanghilong, binasa natin, the Lord is reminding us of our source. Huwag tayong makalimot sa ating source, sa ating pinanggalingan. Sabi nga ni Kristo, I am the vine and you are the branches. The moment that we cut off our very own self doon sa ating pinanggalingan, sa source ng ating buhay, that's the end of our life. That's the end of our meaning. Kahit nga, di ba, kung minsan, Father, mahirap talaga minsan. Sa relationship, di ba, pag tumatagal na. <clears throat> pag young couples nga, di ba, sa una pa lang, marami pa rin makasweetan. Sweet-sweet pa yan. Sabi nga, may mga joke nga niyan, di ba, sa una daw, ang tawag mo sa asawa mo, talagang asawa. After 10 years, magiging ano na lang, sawa na. Hanggang sa mga after another 10 years, magiging awa na lang. Makita mo yung asawa mo, ano ba to Lord? Nakakaawa. Hindi mo iiwan sabagat nakakaawa. Hanggang after another 10 years, wa na talaga. Because it's a bit difficult to remain. Kaya nga ang challenge sa atin, sinasabi na sa I am the vine. And always remember that when you cut, pag pinutol nyo ang sarili nyo, yung relationship ninyo sa akin, nawawala ng saysay ang ating buhay. Ito nga eh, di ba? Yung ating challenges, ang ating paghihirap, ang ating sufferings, ang ating sacrifices will only find its meaning kapag tayo po'y tumitingin din sa krus. Pansin nyo yan? Kapag ka, Lord, alam ko nag-suffer ka, ganito talaga siya ang relationship kapag susunod ka kay Lord. It's not about finding it. It's all about keeping it. It's all about remaining and staying in it. In relationships, in our faith. Kaya huwag tayong makalimot sa source. Huwag tayong makalimot na kapag tayo po'y, kung tayo po'y sanga o kayo, tayo po'y puno, Siguro sa mga plantito dito sa mga plantita, di ba para lumago yung isang halaman at gumanda, pinuprune natin, pinuputulan natin yung mga sanga na sobra-sobra. In spiritual pruning, ganun din. Kasi tayong mga tao, we have the tendency to forget the source. Kaya hindi nagbubunga minsan. Kaya kung minsan kapag ka, alam ba, ako kapag ka masyado ng mayabang, Minsan, pinuprone din ni Lord. Ikaw ha, sumusobra ka na. Pinuprone, pinukuha pinuk yung mga sobrang ano, para mamunga at makahinga. Ewan ko lang kung sino may mga may mangga dito. Di ba ang mangga, kapag kadikit-dikit, hindi mo mamunga ng marami, anong gagawin? Puputulin mo yung iba para makahinga yung isang puno at marami ang maging bunga. Kaya kung minsan, magandang pag-isipan ito eh. I am the vine, and you are the branches. And the Lord is our gardener. Ibig sabihin, lahat tayo dito inaalagaan ng Diyos. Let us not forget that relationship. Let us remain in that relationship. Let us remain in that faith that God has been so good to us. Pinupurun ka. Kapag ka hindi ka na namumunga, pinuputol yung ibang sanga para lumago ka at gumanda. Alam ito ng mga plantito at ng mga plantita. Di ba? Kapag kasobra na, puputulad mo. In spiritual pruning, ganun din. Tinatanggal ang mga excess. Yung kayabangan, greed, sobra-sobra yan eh. At kung ano pa mga negative sa ating buhay. Kinukuha ni Lord para tayo po ay lumago. Uulitin ko po. The Lord is the vine, and we are the branches. Let us not forget the source. At tandaan natin, in faith, it is not about it's not just about finding it. It's all about keeping it. It's all about living it. In relationships and in love, it is not about finding love. It's all about staying and remaining in that love. Sa Dios. Ganun din. Sabi nga niya, remain in me as I remain in you. Let us all stand. 
United as one body of worshipers in the Lord, we bring our needs with confidence before God our Father. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the unity which comes from Christ, the true vine, may draw all Christians to his church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That priests, <coughs> religious, and missionaries may be committed to their vocation in the church and remain united with Christ in their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those tried by life's difficulties may be faithful to Christ and his gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may see Christ as the source of strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may remain in Christ forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for the safety of all those who will be traveling today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, without you we can do nothing. Hear our prayers and keep us in your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work every man hands has become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work every man hands to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. <clears throat> Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed. An integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, 
Make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread at giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be God into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have, you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and afterwards the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles and images. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles and images. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Maraming salamat po.